Hey, welcome back to another episode of Joyride Labs. For those of you who are new, we're working on a build series about this mid-drive stealth bomber enduro e-bike. Uh, we've come along quite some ways, starting from the bare frame. And uh, for context, we left the last episode with a failure with my previous vest controller. And uh, for those of you who know or who uh, haven't quite realized, that was not the first vest controller to fail, the last one. Uh, so I have this one, that's about $750, a replacement for that, another one, and one that was uh, not here but also failed. So some of them I was riding out a spec and are on me, but the rest of them I'm not quite sure why they're failing in that way. It's probably my issue, but that being said, uh, we're looking to move ahead with this far driver, hint, hint, it goes quite well, and uh, yes, uh, you got to see, I guess, the rest of the episode to see what else we work on. Uh, hope to see you guys around uh, again soon. Please enjoy the episode. Cheers. All right, we're back. So controller has been wired. It's in there, it's mounted just to this little L bracket thing. This is not all super pretty. I just want to make sure, see what happens when it works. So cables have been pulled out of the way. This one's actually wired to a key switch. There you go, on, you can see, throttle. This doesn't have a variable really uh, regen, but it can wire up a button. So I've done that because I really do like the regen and my brakes are quite chasty. So it's all jammed in there. It's not pretty at all, but it's in there for now. And I'm ready to try and take it for a ride for the most part. So one thing I have to do is put the cog on and I've, <laughs> this is the last chain. Not sure if you can tell, but it's kind of like a stiff blanket or teenage boy's um, towel that's hanging out in this room, if you know what I mean. Catch my drift. So this chain is obviously taking some abuse. I have noticed it gets warm when I'm riding, and I'm just going to upsize the chain. Hopefully that figures it fixes it. So I ordered, that's a 420 chain. This is a 428H, which is a heavy-duty version of the 428, so it's up a size. And beauty and bling bling gold. I'm trying to keep this bike stealth to be honest. I'm not a big fan of like it's gonna make it flashy. I'm trying to stay under the radar, but it is what it is. It came with the chain tools and master links at a pretty decent price, and it seems like it's a higher quality. So for now, I'm just gonna do um, the primary chain in this, and hopefully, this one lasts up. It still seems in good condition. And yeah, after that, I can uh, get a quick test ride in. Oh. oh, let's test this bad boy out.
All right, I'm back. I'm not quite sure where we left. If I remember correctly, I was probably filming a bit of a test ride with the new far drive controller, and that went really well. So I'm excited about using this far drive controller. I really do love VESC because you can do what you want. There's some features you just really can't, you don't get with the far driver, but if they're not working for me. I don't know why they're blowing up. Still going to try and sort it out with them. But in the meantime, I got this vet, uh, the far driver. It's working great. The only thing is those controllers are huge and I have no space in my bike, which is why I think you or I have gone a while without filming here because I've been trying to figure out how to reconfigure everything in a way that makes sense. It was a little frustrating for me. So I got it get something done, like an early revision of what I thought, and that helped. And then I get back to uh, cardboard again, and then a revision of this. And then now I've done that, and I'm on a revision that I think I'm happy to work with, and I can build further with the bike. That being said, the bike is stripped down, and the motor was off even just a second ago. I put it back on, and uh, that's because of that. There's a few maintenance items I also needed to do. One. I uh, wore through my brake hose in my, on my front brake on that uh, last joyride or free ride or test ride, or whatever the hell it is, shakedown. And I had to get a new hose in. So I filmed a little of that. I'll probably just, I don't know, maybe you'll see some of that. Um, I also want to put a chain guard on because I got bit by the bike pretty good. Took a good chunk of my pants. Luckily, not my knee. This is a bad MCL. I just tore it four months ago. So that would have been bad, bad to rip it apart. But um, when you lean, anyways, the chain can bite. So uh, I want to revisit that. Three, the chain's a little loud. I think that has to do with the sprocket. And there's a few ways to resolve that. But I want to try this one i'll show you i'll show you that in a second up close i've done that um yeah i think that's mostly it. oh and four i guess i worked on the seat was not happy with the positioning of the seat one i realized it was really off skew i don't know how that happened it was tweaked so I, anyways it was bad i've shimmed it for now old and i've re uh, revised where the actual top part of the seat fits on the cushion and i'll dive into that um, later if I want to rebuild it, but for now the, the shimming's working. And yeah, so I'm going to put everything back together. I'm in Toronto, Canada, and this is game seven of the, uh, Stanley Cup playoffs and against Florida. And I'd like to get downtown with the bike tonight and see some of the mayhem, win or lose. I think it'd be a good little excursion. So and try and get everything back together. There's a bunch of new stuff that hasn't been tested, which is not a good recipe to go all the way downtown on a crazy night. It's a Saturday. I guess it's Sunday, but a long weekend. And uh, without doing a full shakedown run, but I'm going to trust most of these things are working. So uh, I'll kind of show you some of the assembly, putting it back together, and then maybe we'll do a little joyride at the end. I'll give you some shots of me going downtown, assuming I have battery left. And yeah, it's not too crazy. So that's all what's going on. I'm in a better place now. The bike is moving in a better direction. And yeah, enough blabbering. Let's get the bike back together. All right, so controller. I got this ring that slides over top of the far driver controller and that allows me to bolt sideways. Just threaded inserts. Here, so that ring gives me a sideways bolting. I can put that on, it's just loose, and this slides over the frame. These pieces clamp in. So this attaches it on, but keeps it open. So I'll show you once it's on. Boom, it's in. There we go. So you can see there's a vision here. It's not fully hideous. Cool. 
bolt. And I'm gonna take this off actually soon and wire in whatever, you'll see that. Also the shims you can see for this. And I extended this to move the seat back. Okay, controller's on, wiring's in there. It kinda, there is a bit of space. It looks like it's just shoved in there, but I'll do some better management, shorten some cables and all that, but it's gonna fit. I like this better. There's some mods to do, but good revision. This is a little uh, cable tie. Well, it's just paracord that I got that wraps around inside and grabs those phase cables and the uh, motor haul and temp sensor and keeps it to the side away from the uh, spinning motor. And yeah, that's really it. I'm about to turn it on, flick the switch. Try to do one-handed. Here we go. That's no smoke. This says zero, but that just lets me know there's throttle power. There's the motor. Spin in the right direction. I got good control. Check region. Yeah, hit it backwards. Okay. Well, I'm back. And as rough as this chain looks, that's not really the issue. The issue is this tensioning bolt is stripping out of the uh, motor mounting plate back there. So I can't keep tension on the chain, at least not enough tension to keep it from going slack. Um, so, I think I got an easy fix, at least for now. I'm gonna take this off and just weld a nut on the back. I think I have the clearance to do that, so. That's it for this week's episode. As you can see, switching to far drivers gone very well, and that's the controller I'm going to stick with for now. Uh, next week, we're going to work on the 12 volt system, doing some of the lighting for the bike, finish up some of the plastic slash fairings for it, and um, yeah, it's getting uh, going quite well. It's getting bikes coming along great. So excited for that. Um, quick note for those of you who 
Uh, we're excited to see some of the footage or we've been asking for some more POV footage. I did try and shoot it. It just didn't turn out well. Uh, I shoot this whole thing on my camera, on my phone, and I've just got this kind of ghetto chest harness and sometimes the angle's wrong and sometimes the footage doesn't come out great. So I hope to get some kind of action camera in the future. Um, if you have any interest in supporting me in that, uh, check out my Kofi link below. Uh, any donations, small or large, would help a lot. Uh, no pressure at all, of course. Uh, anyways, for the rest of you, I uh, hope I can see you again soon. If you have any questions, please shoot them in the comment. I love to engage, share any knowledge I have, or get any knowledge you're willing to share. See you around.